All right, hi, hi everybody. Uh, Brent Landon here. Um, I've had a few people ask about the quality of fiberglass and how it is uh, compared to aluminum and how it's going to hold up to certain kinds of uh, weathering and whatnot. Uh, we have this boat in the class that I teach, uh, which is composites. Uh, I made this boat for my students to repair. So this boat has actually been repaired uh, a couple of dozen times all over. Uh, we've come in with hammers and, and we've actually broken hammers on this uh, little fiberglass boat. But it's a very thin fiberglass boat. It's only about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch at most in, uh, in spots on this boat. But the average uh, thickness of it is about eighth of an inch to maybe three sixteenths of an inch. And you can see that it's, it's fairly flexible as I push on it right here. But one of the things that uh, I do to uh, put damage in this boat is I take this bar, and this is a steel uh, threaded bar. You can see that it's got the threads here. It's an eighth of an inch uh, wall. So it's, it's a pretty strong uh, pipe. And so I actually just go ahead and whack the boat. And you can see that there's no dent in the fiberglass. There's no dent in the gel coat. And let me show you how this looks right here. A couple little scratches. There are no cracks. There's a little tiny mark right here. This chip is actually from before. And then we've got this little tiny mark right there. And that's it. This is just from a nice flimsy little piece of fiberglass with a four foot pipe. <laughs> 